Alright nerds, I'm back to show off an easy method of dealing with the portals that spawn in the later phase of Eden's Verse 7, Savage. Initially this mechanic seems extremely awkward and trying to remember what colour you need to be hit with and on which tile seems to catch a lot of people out. But by the simple placement of two markers you will be able to remove all aspects of this mechanic and make it so brain dead and easy to perform each time. First off, it's important to know that the colour of the portals on the east side of the arena are always the same and will never change. It will always be red in the first and the third row and blue in the second and fourth row. Same as the first phase, nothing changes. The two portals that spawn in the south behind you are always the two inner ones and again red will be on the west side and blue on the east side. Again, those ones will never change also. With this in mind, we can now place our two markers. Place a blue marker, either the letter C or number 3, in the lane with the southern red portal, which will be the west side. And then on the right hand side, the east side, place a red marker in the lane with the southern blue portal. That's it. You are now set up to dodge the entire mechanic by following this easy system. So what is it? Once the boss casts unjoint aspect, you'll be given your colour debuff. The colour you are given does not matter. You just need to correctly get hit the first time. So go to the correct side and get hit with your beam to be swapped and simply note the side you were hit on. If your swap occurred on the west side of the arena, the side with the blue marker that we placed, you need to go to an outside tile that has a blue portal on it. From earlier, we know that the blue right side portals are always the second and fourth rows. So standing on either side of the arena in the second and fourth tile will always be safe. Now, if your swap occurred on the east side of the arena, the side with the red marker you placed, you need to go on an outside tile that has a red portal on the right side. Again, from earlier, we know that the red right side portals are always in the first and third rows. So standing on either side of the arena in the first and third tiles will always be safe if your swap occurred on that side. So far it's all pretty easy and this is usually the part where people start getting confused on how to dodge the next beams while trying to do other mechanics. So here's the trick for completing the rest of the mechanic easily. When you are moving to the correct coral portal after the initial hit simply look at the front left portal. If this portal is red, you will swap your tile each time, either moving north or south to the next tile. If this portal is blue, you will simply stay on the same tile each time and will not have to change for the following beams. And that's it. Simply beat your ground AOEs between each beam and then move back to your correct tile. The colored, AO you, uh, colored AOE under your feet they go off 5 seconds before the next beam, so don't panic, you will have plenty of time to spread out, take the hit and get back to the correct tile. It is actually hard to believe that something so, that it seems so complex can be solved simply by looking at the colour of the front left portal. Red, you swap. Blue, you stay. And that will be the same each time. So easy. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.